Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about changing the login and register page layout. So let's see how can we apply HTML template on login and register page. You can see here, this is the default login page and here is the default register page. Okay. Now let's uh, apply the HTML template on this login page and register page. Okay, so for that, uh, go to the project and let's uh, go inside the uh, resources directory, then views and then auth and from here, let's open the login.blade.php file and inside this file, uh, first of all, let's change here the layout name. So just write here layouts dot uh, stream of this app and add here the layout name, which is base okay and now uh, from here inside this uh, content section just uh, remove this container so select this and uh, delete uh, this container okay and now go to the template directory here is the template directory okay and now uh, let's open this login.html file in VS Code. So right click and open with Visual Studio Code. Okay. And uh, from this file, uh, let's uh, select this one, this uh, login section. Okay. So just collapse this. So just copy this. Uh, select this section and also copy this a style okay so just select this and copy and go to the login.blade.php file and inside this content section i'll just paste here okay and now inside this form i'll just remove this and add here the route which is login route so right here login method post okay and now just remove this hidden field okay and add here the at the rate csrf okay csrf stands for cross site request forgery attacks okay which is used for uh, prevent the unauthorized activities and now uh, here inside the user section this input section okay just uh, add here uh, after this input email field uh, for displaying the validation message just add here the add rate error directive and inside this put here the name email and inside this error directive just add here Span tag and class text danger. Okay, and also set some margin so empty dash three. And now close this span tag and this uh, span. Okay, and inside this suspend tag, just display here the error message. So right here, double curly bracket, then dollar message. Okay, and now just close here the error directive. So right here at the rate int error. Okay, and now let's copy this and paste for the password. So here, after this, just paste here and only change here the name and just write here password okay and now uh, change here the register link so just remove this and add here double curly bracket the route and route name which is the register Okay, save this file now it's done so let's check this login page so go to the browser 
and just refresh the page and you can see here the new design, uh, new uh, login page it means a template has been applied on this login page okay now let's check this so just add here the username so just write here user at the rate sub side media dot in and password okay now just click on login and you can see here it's working okay now let's log out and just click on the register link and now let's apply the template on this register page okay so go to the auth directory and uh, from here let's open register.play.php file and now do the same thing uh, just change here the layout name and just write here base and now uh, let's remove this container div okay just remove this and now go to the template directory and uh, open this register.html file in visual studio code and now this register.html template file uh, let's copy this this section okay so just select this and also copy this style copy and go to the register.play.php file and inside this content section content section just paste here okay and now just change here the uh, form action so just add here the double curly bracket route and then route name to register and also remove this hidden field and just add here at the rate csrf okay and uh, for displaying the validation message after this input field just add here at the rate error directive then add here the name name and now add the span tag and add the class here text and tensor and give some margins right here margin to empty empty dash three okay this is the bootstrap class and now add here the double curly bracket and just display here the message error message okay and i'll just close this span tag and now just close this error directives so right here at the rate int error now let's copy and paste uh, paste here for the phone all right and uh, just change here the column name phone and here for the uh, this time just remove this this input field okay phone this is not required and inside the email address field just paste here and change here the name email and uh, here for the password so right here password okay now let's add here the login route here so remove this route and route name which is login okay now it's done so save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and refresh the page and you can see here the register page and if i click on this link or uh, login page okay now let's check the register page so just uh, add here the name 
uh, just enter the name user2 email address let's say user uh, this time just I'm going to enter the same email address and password okay confirm password and now just click on sign up you can see here the validation error message the email has already been taken okay if I uh, add here the user2 and this time user2 at the search site media.in okay and password one two three four five six seven eight and confirm password and now just click on sign up and this time you can see here user 2 is logged in okay all right so in this way uh, it's showing the 404 okay inside the layout file just go inside the layout uh, change the link for the home page so here just remove this index.html and right here also change here the link okay so just press ctrl plus t and right here double curly bracket route and then route name which is app dot index okay now save this file and now refresh the page and now if i click on this logo you can see here the home page okay so in this way you can apply the html template on login and and register page okay so that's all about changing the login and register page layout don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching